Hello there and welcome to Tribo Bike Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to easily install a star nut into a steerer of a fork without the use of specialized tools or violence. My patient for today is a Santo Radeon fork with 100mm of travel, tapered steerer and 50mm axle. I am making a bike for my friend and since he's very short I needed to make the fork fit into an extra small frame. So I needed to cut the steerer, since this fork actually had a star nut before, but it was somewhere here, I believe. Anyway, I need to install a new one. What I'm going to do is going to use the fact that a star nut, like this one, has an M6 thread inside. So I can use this thread to pull the star nut through the steerer, so it gets to its place, which would be somewhere here. What I'm going to need. A threaded rod, M6, matching the thread in the in the star nut. A wrench, a few washers. I am actually cheap, so this is parts of an old headset, but you can use any washer you need. Once you understand the principle I'm going to be using. And a few nuts. So, what you need to do, you need to thread the star nut somewhere along the threaded rod and I'm going to edit this because it's going to take 7 million hours to do it because I have something like 20 centimeters of this. Okay, I think I have enough thread sticking out from the bottom of the fork crown. So, now I need to use my washers. So, I can put some force no, still not enough thread I can put some force through the threaded rod so now I need to install two extra washers these are important because if you're not going to do it your knots might bind and the resultant torque is going to tear the threaded rod because we are actually going to be using quite a bit of force here there you go okay now everything is prepared I'm going to screw a few extra nuts here for security and here you go once I'm going to start screwing these uh, the threaded rod is either going to uh, rotate, so uh, the star nut is going to be pulled into the steerer, or it's going uh, the threaded rod is going to be pulled with the with the star nut because I'm screwing these. Here's how it goes. Obviously, if you have a wrench with a ratchet, it's going to be much easier. And if you are park tool, you are probably trying to make a very expensive tool using this principle and making it blue. Don't be bothered that the star nut isn't actually getting pulled in perfectly going to resolve itself once the second wings of it are going to be hidden into the steerer. Then the fact that it is spring-loaded is going to make sure that this light needs to go away, that it's going to be perfectly centric. I'm almost done. Boring, boring, boring. I really should edit this now, shouldn't I? Uh, or at least put it in fast forward. Okay. Mm, from this point, no, not yet. Once the second wings of the knot hide in the steerer, we are going to feel quite a bit of resistance when doing this that's because you are now pulling through 
two bare metal edges inside of the steerer tube, not one like you were doing before. However, okay, now I'm getting the extra effort here. However, word of advice, make sure your stanchions are somewhat protected because being extremely professional I actually am risking I'm going to damage them anyway now it is getting rather hard to do it and my startup isn't yet inside however I am still able to get it moving. Okay, from this point it is actually beneficial to put some oil into this because there's quite a bit of friction there. However, I'm getting what I want. There you go, much better. If you can get one of those longer nuts, it's going to be much easier if I really didn't have any with me here so i'm using these okay how much okay i think i'm down here a bit more so the headset cap is going to have place to hide itself and i think Autofocus, 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 show me says. No, it doesn't want to autofocus. I have my star not deep enough, so I need to lessen the tension here. Get my washers and my nuts away from the threaded rod. There you go. And unscrew the threaded rod from the stand. And I'm going to be done. Great, yay, I'm done. And there you go. This is on a complete bike. And you can now gawk in the beautiful workshop I am in. And before you ask the obvious question, why would anyone subject anyone to riding with such a long stem a shorter one is already ordered i'm just using this as a temporary anyway you can see the star knot is perfectly centric and it was possibly five minute job and no hammers were actually used thank you and see you on the next one